Hello and welcome back to the channel. As I said in the last video I did on River Neen maintenance, we would visit a guillotine lock this time. As last time we visited Northampton lock, which is a pair of mitre gates. But these locks further down the river have guillotines. So here we are at Lower Barnwell lock near Roundel. We're also going to take a look at the natural course of the River Neen here. I'll show you how it goes around the back of Barnwell Country Park and the section of river between Upper Barnwell and Lower Barnwell lock is actually man-made. So let's take a look at what they're doing on the winter works at Lower Barnwell Lock. You can't see a lot of the guillotine, I must admit, so I've put you a picture below of what a guillotine should look like in all its glory. Here they put a scaffolding frame up and wrapped it in a plastic tarpaulin. Believe it or not, inside there is five men working away, radios blaring away, and they've given the guillotine and all its mechanism a good service for cleaning it down, descaling it, and giving it a fresh coat of paint. We take a look here as we go over the top of Lower Barnwell Lock, heading back up river. We're just going to go over the top of Arundel Marine area. This building just coming in to view on the right hand side here now houses a camper van building company, but it used to be where one of the Fairline boats was made. As many of you know, Arundel Marina was home for Fairline boats, and a lot of the buildings that you can see coming into view at the top here are where the Fairline boats were being built part of the production line, various different models, various different size of boats. Unfortunately this doesn't take place at the marina site anymore and it's now called Arundel Marina Village and is operated more as storage and various different businesses are operating out of these units. We can see here the marina straight in front of us. We've turned round now and we're heading back down the river which is on the right hand side at the bottom there. You can just see in the top right hand corner a lower Barmore lock which we visited. And I just sort of show you the course of the river here. It comes down past the marina, leaving the marina on its left hand side, going down here towards Lower Barnwell Lock, where it continues going down river out towards Ashton and Peterborough and beyond. But what we're going to do in a minute is we're going to spin round and we're going to go above and I'm going to show you the actual natural course of the river. Because this section of river here is actually man made. Um, it was a gravel pit at one time, the marina. And this is all gravel lined, this river. If you uh, have a look in the summer when it's clear, you can see. But we're going to go back, we're going to have a look, and I'll just show you where the river goes all the way around the backside of Barnwell Country Park, and it actually rejoins just here in front of us, coming in from the left look below Lower Barnwell Lock. We're just a bit further back up river here. In fact, this is the home of Neen Valley Boats, an Arundel Town Rowing Club. We had a moor in here for a number of years. It's a very nice part of the river. As we're down past the moorings here, we're heading down towards Upper Barnwell Lock we'll come to shortly. It's by the Barnwell Mill which is now a kitchen showroom and it used to be in times gone by a pub and for a lot of years just stood empty to be fair and now it's a kitchen showroom of all things. But we're going to head down here and as we get to uh, Upper Barnwell Lock I'm just going to show you where the river now goes off to the left and follows its natural course. It goes around the sort of back side of uh, Barnwell Country Park if you like and then comes back round underneath the town bridge, uh, brushes the side of Arundel Town itself, and then rejoins what's the navigable river just below Lower Barmore Lock, which we saw earlier. So just below me now, see these orange these orange bollards on the left here? This is where the actual river naturally goes off, the natural course. Now it's got another little fork straight on here, which is a stream that goes straight through, but they link up together just at to the top of the screen now. They link back up together. The navigable river is to your right now, you can just see Barnwell Mill, the big building in the middle there, and that's Upper Barnwell Lock to the right. And that's the navigable course of the river. If you can just see off at the top of the screen there, that's down to Marina, which we looked at earlier on. So here we are, back at the Orange Boys I mentioned a little earlier, where the river splits off to the left. And as you can see, the navigable river goes off to the left here and meanders its natural course round the farmer's fields, in fact, round the backside of Barnwell Country Park, through Arundel Town Bridge, and out towards Lower Barmo Lock. So we'll just follow it along here as it goes.
you can just see here at the middle of the screen where the two courses meet up before going under the town bridge. You can see Andal Town just at the top there and the river just brushes along the edge of the town. A couple of streams meet up and then we head off here out to the right and rejoin the navigable channel just below Lower Barmo Lock. Standing out well in the green countryside with its white coat on, there is Lower Barmo Lock again. So we followed the natural course of the river all the way around back to the bottom of Lower Barmo Lock. And there's just an overview of you back up. That's the navigable channel you can see in the middle there. Andal Marina to the right, river in the middle and a fishing lake to the left. And we're just setting up there and up at our top of our screen is Upper Barnwell Lock and Barnwell Mill again. I hope you found this interesting. Um, I've tried to show you a couple of different angles around all there and the way the river runs round and the way the boaters are using it. That Neen Valley boats have uh, got a hire base there and RYA training centre there. And there's all kinds of things. Aundel Town Rowing Club are down there. They're quite often rowing up and down on the weekends. There's a lot going on. It's a busy stretch of the river. But anyway, thanks for watching. We'll try and go and have a look at a bit more of the winter works as winter goes on in the new year and I'll see what else I can bring you. Please like and subscribe if you like what you see and always comment. I do like your comments and we do appreciate your feedback. Thank you. I've just added a couple of photos on the end here for your information. The first one is up a Barnwell Lock in normal summer conditions and the second one is in winter when the river's in full flood. Just for you to have a look at and compare.